All right. Welcome. And um, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing now is uh, we're going to take our roof and we're actually going to give curves where it kind of slopes and sags in the middle type look. Um, pretty much what they're asking for for the um, Hollis competition. So let's dive right in and get her done. Okay. Um, um, in the previous tutorials, especially on the roof board tutorial, which I kind of walked you through on pretty much making what you see here, uh, all this down in here, how to make the boards and support rafters and all that kind of stuff. I've taken two sections of that, you know, and we've kind of made it long, made it rectangular. Don't let it get too high so it's not a rectangle. So, and um, we're going to take pop in a center beam right here which I think this is like five voxels wide and uh, depending on how you put yours together uh, all of this will kind of fit into place with whatever it is that you've done okay um, but pretty much what we want is something in the center that we can kind of go, go off of um, that's why I have this center beam here it doesn't have to be a circle it could be a square it could be a rectangle all the way down through the length of it um, but we need something in the center to work off of and you can just select that center section like so and for this I'm gonna kind of bring this up a little high something about like that because what I want to do with this is I want a slope that kind of does like this and then curves kind of back up this might be a little bit too high for, um, for the way I want this to look. I want it to be a gradual, just a soft slope into it. Um, nothing like a super major slope because if we get too much of a, of, a, of a slope in there, then it looks too tockish and we don't want that to look. We don't want that look. So kind of just stand off from it and actually look at it and trying to figure out exactly what kind of a slope we want to put in this thing. So I'm going to do something like this. At least I hope. And we're going to kind of go with it. So something about like that, I think. And once we get, you know, kind of our height determined on, you know, how high we really want to get this to go, we are going to take this top section here along the end and pull it out for the length of the curve that we want to do it to and for this one it looks like I'm gonna go with something like a mm, good 50 voxels there and let's bring this back so yeah about 50 voxels worth off of the end and I think that's pretty much where we're going to be uh, working with here. So we're going to take our add tool, take this material that we used for the center beam, and I'm going to take my fill option and fill the top in. That way we don't kind of disturb that, that center beam, and it, it'll retain that, that circular type look to it here. Now, once we get this part, I'm going to copy pretty much this whole entire section all the way across get down a few voxels so we have you know pl plenty of meat and potatoes from this thing get something about like that I'm gonna copy this and bring it off to the side over here because this is where we're gonna be kind of doing our deletion actually let's do it over there do it on that side that way our selection box won't get in our way bring this up a little high there so we're not messing up anything around here that looks pretty good oops there we go ah. now once we have that center section kind of pulled out we are going to take our line tool to the side over here I'm gonna click on somewhere about in there and bring it all the way up to the very top point that we're gonna be working with and before I do that let me change my material 
So we're going to be putting thatch in here. There we go. Get our line tool exactly the size we need it for the top. Drag it up to the very top of the peak. And we're going to paste in. That way we get something that looks about like that. That looks pretty good. And from here, we're just going to kind of copy this and repeat it down the length of this, this really thick board that we have kind of created here. So let's copy that. But before we do that, let's grab this side right here, copy it, paste it back in, but put it on the other side. So mirror it, get it back into position. and paste. And this way we can get that shaping of that, that circular uh, post that I put in uh, originally pretty much back on key and it's kind of back the way it should be and it goes all the way through. Now if I copy this I'll have something that doesn't disturb that. So let's copy this and we're gonna run this down the length of it. knock this out really quick and we just about got her done <clears throat> all right and the cool thing is the way we've done this the angle is slightly variant from the actual roof so it kind of curves up so it gives this really nice like you know, slowly degradation of that curve at the very top and it's going to work out really great. So now I can copy this side here and paste it over to the other one. So copy, paste, mirror, put it over to the other side. Paste. And we have both sides looking exactly the way they should. That's looking pretty good. I've got some kind of a divot right there, and I don't know why. Let me just uh, use my line tool to kind of straighten that back out. That looks good. All right. Now we need to cut the top. We need to get the the top cut out and looking the way we want. And I'm going to make some slight little modifications here because there's going to be a lot more cutting than what I have here. I want to pull out a little bit of extra. I'm going to pull it right here on this section here. I'm going to copy just that center part. And I'm going to extend this out just a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, something about like that. And I think we're good, pretty much good to go for, for the cut that I want to do. So, let me get in here. I'm going to make a really big deletion circle. Now, as y'all know, if you take a deletion tool, right like this, and you see it's square, I want to hit C so that it is in here. But... The maximum that you can scroll wheel this thing up to its biggest point is 100. There is a way to get past that, and that is to take a selection tool and make a really, really, really big selection area. And I'm going to make this thing really big, and I'm going with an odd number because this center piece here, across that, that, that center point of this roof, is an odd number. If it's an even number, you want an even number for your uh, selection volume. All right, so with this, I'm going to go with 275 by 275 by 275, something like this. Let's get the big section here. Make this thing is big. Same all the way around 275, 275, and 275. 
And let's kind of move this out of the way if at all possible. So it doesn't quite get in our way here. Move this off to the side there. There we go. Now, with our selection volume pretty much in the air now, I'm going to make a circle that that is that big. And to do that, we're going to go back to our deletion tool. Make sure that it is on the circle version, not the square. I'm going to mouse over that selection box. Hold and press Control. We're going to click. And as you can see here, I've got these big arrows. Now the cool thing is at this point, I need to get over there so I can actually grab it. But when I move it, look how big this sucker is. It's really freaking massive. And I can now use this to create that curvature that I want over here. Now to really get to this point, we need to get our uh, big old deletion tool into position Kind of, kind of move things around here. Get it over here to where I can actually work with it. And what we want to do is center this deletion volume with what it is I'm working on. And it may take some playing with to get it there, but once you get it over to where your item is, you can kind of see where this thing is actually lined up at something like this and you can kind of look down the length and from here we try to center it as much as possible and that looks pretty centered to me right there from here we're going to be able to adjust it and put it where we want um, we when we're doing the actual cut on this we don't want to cut too deep down into this item we actually want at least a little bit of this top section above that circle circle that we kind of run down the length of it we want plenty of this in here so we're only going to we're going to take like right here where it bevels off one voxel above that is where we want the bottom of the circle to be that way we have plenty down here that we can uh, kind of work with um, and it'll make more sense once we get uh, the actual cut made so let's bring this up into the air and get this thing kind of where we need it. So it goes something about like this. You can see we're kind of centered on it right now. And it's looking pretty good. But I need to move this over some. That looks pretty good. I need to go up at least one voxel. There we go. You can see I've got plenty of space right here <clears throat> above that little bevel right there. Hopefully you can kind of see that. There's the bevel. And then one voxel above that. So the, here's the part of the cut. Now on this back side, I've got a, I want at least a little bit of overhang to cut out some of this that's going to be overhanging off the edge. So we're going to move this around just a bit get at least a little bit of that into it there we go you can kind of see it now right there once we get that kind of set up we're gonna hit our checkbox hopefully it allows us if not I'm gonna to have to move this downwards uh, to be able to do what I want to do with the uh, uh, deletion tool all right, and it doesn't look like it's going to allow me there. All right, so let's move the whole thing down, and then we'll uh, reattempt it. All right, let's select this whole thing. Control X. Control V. How's that? I think that right there should do it. And that should be low enough, I think, just to be sure. I'm not going to worry too much about everything around it because I can copy and then Control Z back out of it. 
All right, let's try that again. We'll take our selection tool. I'm going to go with that um, 275. I want this thing to be, you know, fairly large um, of a selection box. Uh, so, 275, 275, I 275. Let's move this out of the way. That should do it. Go to my delete tool, press and hold control, click on it. Let's go ahead and grab that circle, pull it over here to where we can get it lined up again. be able to go through this a little quicker this time. Can I get what I'm saying at least I hope by now? It looks like we're off by one voxel. There we go. We're lined up. Now let's go ahead and chop that top off of it. Go ahead and check our ends and our where we're actually doing the cut at. Hey, it's big and blue, so we got no red. That's great. So let's bring this down. Check to see where we're actually making the cut at. You can see the little point on the bottom of the uh, delete volume there. You can kind of tell where you're at. Bring this up just a little. That looks good. All right, so let's drag this off to the side. I want at least a little bit of this cut off to go into the overhang over here. So we're kind of got it pretty close to where I want it at this point. I'm going to hit check and should be poof. Anytime now. There we go. You can kind of see how this thing kind of curves out get this nice clean little cut right there nice bevel all right now if you can see this kind of curves down and then it starts curving back up so let's go ahead and remove this end of it and replace it with some of this low ground area so if I take my my mouse with my selection value or the selection tool you can kind of see where it starts doing that is somewhere in here and then it should start popping up there so in between the two should be around in here somewhere we'll select all this in here slide in both sides I'm going to copy this and then we're going to start pasting it uh, along that length. And we're going to paste it with air. So let's go ahead and grab some of this air up above. So let's copy that. Paste. Get it lined up. Make sure your paste with air is turned on. And we're going to just drag this down the length, one voxel at a time, to rep replace this curvature on this end. To get rid of it. And you see it's slowly just knocking that out and we will be good. There we go. Take care of that business. All right, so we're pretty good there. We got a little bit of deformations here on the end. Let's see if we can go ahead and clean them up while we're here. Just drag our line tool across, flatten all that out. And we should be pretty much set to go. We should be able to take this now, paste it right back in where we pulled it out, and we should be good.
Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and take that center, um, that center section and actually have it sitting up on top of the actual um, roofing. And how high you want to put this is kind of up to you. Um, but there was a reason why I wanted to make sure we tried to retain as much of this down here as possible. I actually cut it down a little further than what I really wanted to do, but it's okay. We can live with it. We can work with it. And uh, so let's go ahead and grab this now. That little top section right there all the way through. Let's grab this whole thing. Actually, we're just going to grab this center. Sorry about that. Grab that center. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it out here in the world so we can kind of play with it. So paste there. I'm going to drop it down to hold F and click. Now, you can see I've got a little bit of a gap kind of going on in there. That's okay because I'm going to use my fill option on my add tool change my material to what we're using up here. I'm going to grab this section right up here to here. Drop this down by one. And right here is where it starts a little starts kind of breaking off right there. And we should be good at this point. Use our fill option and fill it in. You can see it has retained that little bit of a curvature there. So we should be all, all right at this point. I'm going to take my line tool along the side to get rid of that little divot. Like I said, we normally would want to uh, um, have that set, have that little one voxel section um, when we're doing the deletion because it, by not having it, then you have to do all this extra work in here to clean all this up so that when you put it up on the, the roof, um, it looks nice and clean. But hey, this kind of shows you a little bit of extra, I guess. All right, so now we have that curve. And at this point, we've got a, an exact curve that will fit right on top of what we already currently have. I can do a control X to cut that out and paste it right on top of where we pulled it out and we get a nice clean connection point there. And I pasted with air, so um, you, you can leave it like this if you want. You can fill all this in if you want. Um, you can paste without air if you want to retain all that. Let's kind of bring that in there, paste. So we got all this. Um, you can also do something similar. We'll bring it down do remove voxels. We can cut out a section like this right in between the two if we would like to do something kind of fancy. Um, it, it's kind of up to you at this point how you want to do this. Um, you can also bring this up and have that ridge even taller just by stacking it one more level. Um, or we can just go up one voxel and just bring up a little bit and but you have to kind of bring it back down to repaste and all that kind of stuff but you know it, it's up to you how you want to deal with this but for this we have that now let's get it back on up on our roof system and um, see what the end effect actually looks like on the roof so control X Take all of that and we're going to paste with air to replace all this this stuff that we already have up here get this thing kind of in line something like that we can look at our beams on the inside to actually see if it's lining up correctly something like that we're going to paste with air to re place all that that poopy and from here we're going to mirror 
drag it to the other side, pop that in, and then we fill in between the two with the what we uh, we took together, uh, what we elongated in here and got rid of. We can copy a section out of this and then run it down the uh, the rest of that center section there. So copy this, paste. And we can kind of back off and actually see what we've done here. We've got a, you know, a slight little curve kind of coming in, so it looks like it, it's kind of buckled in just a little bit. If we look down the length of it like this, you can see it's got like a slight little curve kind of coming in there. And we've got our rafters and all that kind of stuff going on in there. And like I said, it depends on what you you're kind of looking for and what you're trying to make. Um, you can actually come in here and take this curvature that you have up there and use it to cut the bottom. I mean, I can take this little section here all the way to my interior beam, which is where my, um, my wall would actually be. So about right there and copy this through. Something like that, bring this up. I have my my width of it through this direction I can copy this and use this to drop it down in to this interior something about like that maybe and I can uh, use the remove voxels To kind of give me a little swoop up on the end. It take, it's going to take a little bit of cleaning work in here, but you can kind of come up with something that looks uh, fairly decent up in there. If we take here to here, let's push this through and get some of that back little section of this. Copy, paste. Paste that in there. Now let's move this up. And just take some of that top section there. That looks good. Copy this. Paste. And just kind of roll this out clean all of that up all the way to the outside something like that and then we have all this little open air in here let's go ahead and clean that up bring this out now if you wish you could take that uh, circle that you put in here and probably use it to to get this all kind of aligned in and kind of up to you at this point I guess so nice little curves on the end however you do it it's you know kind of up to you and of course you know put your you know dragon heads or, or whatever up on the end of it however you wish um, uh, make sure you check the width of your dragon heads or whatever it is um, so that it will fit on the end. Some of them are odds and some of them are evens. And you may have to elongate them to get them to actually work or you know, reduce them um, to get them to work uh, with your particular build. So uh, when you're using the different heads on the end of your, your building, make sure you're checking to find out you know, how big they are. Um, but for that, there you go kind of uh, putting some curves into your roof and actually kind of working on it. Ooh, there's one more thing. You'll run across little stuff like this. And there's an easy way to fix this. Um, if I take the one that's right outside of that, copy it, paste it, 
like this, bring it out away from the build. We know this is the one we're working with, but pull that particular voxel out, the one right next to the little poop, because it, for the most part, is retaining its shape. Take your line tool, shrink it down, but make it bigger than whatever it is you're working with, and just double click it onto the side that is messed up, and you can see it flattens out. Take that piece, control X, and paste back in, and this can fix some of those little really weird shapes that kind of pop up. You can get something that, uh, to kind of clean those little pieces up. And I'll do it one more time on this one. There we go. Take this little piece right here, line tool, put it on the side, double click, some of them you can fix, some of them you can't, but for the most part, you can get something uh, looking a lot better than what you did before. Now if I take this, copy that, take the, the one on the other side, put it on this side of it, deletion mode, click, to get it lined up, and then use the line tool on it. This will also get you a lot closer than what you had before. And get you um, get you something that at least looks better than having that big old poop stain kind of popping up. All right, so you take that, paste it in, and you can see it looks a lot better now. Get rid of those little jaggedy pieces, and get you something that really um, help you clean it up. Now you can also use your line tool, you know, clean up stuff just by running your line tool down the length of it, make it bigger than the area, click, drag. Sometimes that will clean up stuff, uh, uh, clean up stuff as well. But hopefully this has kind of got you in some kind of direction on how to deal with the curvatures. Um, you know, every time they give us a, a challenge on the competition, um, we have to come up with innovative ways to deal with it. And, um, you know, a little bit of trial and error and um, this is how I dealt with the situation. Now, um, at this point on your roof, you might want to take your, your smooth tool and kind of just select this top side out here, stay away from the beam, and just tap it one good time with the, um, the smooth tool. Hold down F and just tap it. Just to kind of smooth it off just a little bit so it doesn't have a hard edge up here. Um, or just run your smooth tool down the length of it to you know get some variances kind of going through there. Um, but with that, have a good one, and I'll see you on next tutorial. Bam.